All right, what's up, guys? Your boy Shady. I just wanted to break down this clip really quickly. Going to point out some good stuff, talk about some bad stuff. Obviously, this is Twitter. Video quality is crap. Don't have time to edit crap together. I'm actually working at the moment, but I want to take a look at this first clip. You're going to see Ja Morant uh, kind of attack the paint, and you do see a recurring issue with 2K, right? I look at Jokic here. He's got the angle, right? You look at him. He has an angle here. There's no reason Jokic should move back here. He can cut the drive off. There's no possible way Ja can dunk from where he's standing, but you'll notice the poster dunk animation just moves him back six feet for no reason so that Ja can get that dunk off. I don't know if that's badges. I don't I don't know. That's just been trash for the past few years in 2K. There's, there's not much you can do about that. I'm not complaining too hard. Just pointing out that's something that we aren't going to be able to fix with sliders because it's just a silly part of, of 2k um another thing i wanted to point out here uh at the 33 second mark i really like the way the defense plays they have to move their feet and stay in front of defenders like you see murray is now sprinting he's just trying to stay in front of them now right here in 2K23, 2K22, 2K21, there would have been some type of huge bumping animation. I see literally no bumping. The game is very open, right? Like, let me get this clip at the beginning of it so just so you guys can see it. Just like, look, there's literally no contact between Ja and Murray. I actually like that. You guys know that's something I've tried to achieve with my sliders. Um, now, I don't love here, uh, you watch Aaron Gordon, he's trying to slide into position. I don't love how he kind of teleports to get a contact animation. Josh should have a clear path to the rim here, but he kind of just teleports there. I'm not going to lie. I'm not super upset about it because it does result in a foul and I like more fouls in gameplay. So that's a little bit artificial, but I, I, I will live with that. Uh, we're going to skip to the one minute and six second mark, and we're just going to watch Murray's defense here. Again, he has to move his feet to stay in front of him. There's no chucking animation like that whole 2002 defensive style is completely gone. You just have to stay in front of your man and get a hand up the, like the bumping animations are gone. I don't know if that's a setting. I don't know if that'll be a smother setting, but I really like what I see so far. I, I hope that that's actually how the game plays. Let's skip ahead to the one minute and 40 second mark. You'll see Bane again against Michael Porter Jr. And you're just going to see the same exact trend. Uh, Porter Jr. just has to move his feet. You know what I mean? He has to run. Like throughout that whole interaction, there's no bumping animation sending Bane back. He does the lob, and you know, that's a, a decent looking lob. I will say for the defender that looks like Jamal Murray, I would have liked to see him make a better effort to defend Jal on the lob. But guys, that's just a few of the things that stood out to me. Um, I, I think, you know, we have a chance uh, with some sliders to make this game play pretty well. I, I, I'm optimistic about the early things that we've saw. Shady out.